so welcome to this week's Paint Your Style. Normally I start with doing the color palette, but this week I am really struggling with the image and it looks like everybody else is struggling with the image as well. It didn't go up until quite late and I haven't seen a single image posted yet in this challenge this week. And so instead of doing my color palette to begin with, I am going to tape off my square and then I'm going to pull colors I feel like. The other challenge is that it's quite humid today. It is so humid in fact that when I used my fountain pen on paper that was actually dry. It had never had water on it and it's paper I use my fountain pen on pretty regularly. It feathered like crazy because it's just so humid like the paper's damp. So this could be super interesting. So I hope you stick around and see what happens. I don't know how I feel about it. Um, I sort of had my chance to freak out about it and whatever happens, happens. That's how we're going into it. Um, I've known for like three days this is what I was going to be painting. So, once I stop fighting with this tape, we will get into the painting. Um, if you haven't been around for this version before, there is also a short edited version that I will link above. You don't have to stick around for the long version of me struggling to tape off a square. Um, there's a short version where I just paint. There's also tends to be a real version um, or a shorts version. I guess this is YouTube, so a shorts version. Um, but that tends to go up a bit later. Just depends on how long it takes me to edit that. So we've got our square and now we're going to get into it. It's another one of those needing a guideline to start, so I'm actually going to sure. It's like roughly centered. Um, and this it doesn't actually have to be super light, which is nice because it's going to be a waffle on a black plate. I'm mad black plate. So let's grab some colors that are not where they're supposed to be. The trays are all a mess currently. I've been painting and I haven't been putting these away properly. And now I'm like waiting for a couple things to show up so I can put everything back where it belongs. I've sort of reached the point that I feel like I can't put things back because if I put things back, things still won't be in the right spots. So nothing currently has a home. No chinchilla. And even Yintico, uh, which I will do a video on. Uh, it's on my list. I have feelings. Uh, they are different than other people's feelings, I believe. I haven't seen anyone talk about what I've had happen with it, so there will be a video coming. 
probably next week. Are there blueberries on that plate? I think there are. And we are going to abandon the blueberries because I don't want to chew them. Uh, I think I need like one more color thing. Like make a syrup. I want this to be like a I want a really transparent dark golden color. diversity in color. We are adding blue cooper and yellow ochre. And lastly, eternal rose. And then by water. Let's get into this. So we now have color palette. So I am going to oh this is covered in binder from something. Let's fix that first. We are all tidy now. And let's get into this. I'm gonna push this away. Let's bring this into frame. And let's start painting. I'm arrange these quickly. Pink and reds. Red. And red. So that would be a simple red pink thing. We've got our blacks and grays. We've got our yellows. Cool. As always, I pre-wet everything. Um, not everything needs to be pre-wet, but I do find that for most paints, it's better. Let's get into this. Um... I'm going to do the same flat wash thing I did last week, except I am going to be much more careful about dabbing off the inside because I really do want that inside section to stay um, a waffle color. Like I want to be able to build up that waffle color. As always, I will keep the timer, or as always recently, I will keep the timer for how many times I dry the piece in the bottom comments because I think it's an important part of the process because it is something that I don't show on the camera. not totally flat and normally that's okay but I do want to get rid of this line if I can. Um, just I 
because I feel like it sort of takes away by being that harsh. Let's see if I can hide it. Sometimes you can with granulating colors and sometimes you can't. Depends how they want to behave. In this case, I probably should have just left it. We'll try this again. So now I'm gonna draw my waffles. Um, I'm gonna start drawing the top one. I'm just gonna try to draw it. about this being on a black background or is going to be a black background is that you can erase The most annoying part is that it's one of those like divided waffles, so it's got Things off. Whatever. It's not gonna be a perfect waffle. I think I can do better than that. Thank you. 
hard to do this one in my style because I like doing monochrome pieces, but it's hard to do something like that in a case like this where there are so many colors. enough to redraw it all. I'm just going to widen it enough that the lines are still there. But I know where I'm going. Strawberries. It does have blueberries in the original image. Just not getting blueberries. Alright, so I'm going to start with the bottom waffle. Mostly because I feel like it. I'm going to start with the lightest yellow. Actually, I'm going to start by painting both yellow waffles in this very light yellow. The card is on overload. This will be fun. Put it in perspective, I've already dried this paper five times. Normally I dry an entire project between five and six times, depending on the project, and about five to seven times. Um, we are going to be way over that this week. Um, it is just so humid that no matter what I do, the page is wet. I still have cleaned a big palette, so Lisa Alden palette is back. We are going to go in with this darker. It's another PY43, but it's significantly darker than most of the ones I have. Sort of makes it perfect for this. Where we're trying to make it look like these are recessed.
my goal is not to spend more than an hour if I don't like the image. If I like the image, I'm more than happy to spend more than an hour. There are some that have taken two or three hours, but if I don't like the image, I would rather not put in all that time. And so in this case, sort of right on track with that schedule, I think, to be done in probably just less than an hour. So I've done what I'm going to refer to as a glazing test of the waffle, and I think I like the warmth that it brings in. So I'm about to do that, and this could totally screw it up. We're about to find out. So it's mostly yellow ochre with a tiny bit of Naples yellow in it. And a very clean brush. So it did like sort of mess it up, but the section that got lighter is actually the section that's lighter in the image. So I think we're still okay. And so now I'm going to start the strawberries. That is a massive strawberry in comparison to the waffle. But we're just going to deal with it. Purely using it to go because I can. Uh, not that I think strawberries will ever be Yintico colored, but you know, I have the color. Seems like a waste not to use it, even if it's not like the most practical color for pretty much anything.
might just cover the strawberries in black. <laughs> we might give up on the strawberries. They look weird. Yeah, we're gonna give up on the strawberries. Chinchilla. I'm just gonna cover up the strawberries. Cause I don't like them. Black is my favorite. Opaque black. I have other blacks I like, but if I need something really opaque, chinchilla is where it's at. It's just so opaque. I got so many different blacks out because Inky by Cosmic Creations um, is a little bit less matte and a little bit less opaque. But looking at the image, it's such a matte and opaque black that the plate is. And since I'm getting rid of the strawberries, I think chinchilla is the way to go. Let's just get that really close. dry and see if anyone else needs another coat. Let's peel this tip. Here we go. It's pretty cute. So now I'm actually going to do the swatch sheet because a lot of the colors I pulled we didn't end up using. It was a clean tape pull. I didn't even realize that. Oh, that's great. It's an actually clean tape pull. That's so much fun. We don't get those very often. So now I'm going to do the swatch card and then we will see what colors I actually used. Um, I'm not going to swatch up the colors I used for the strawberries, though I will list the colors that were used for the strawberries that didn't end up on the piece in the description. I'm using a Ferris wheel press carousel pen. Don't know which one I've grabbed. I've got two identical ones. I don't know which ink is in this one. So we have Buttercup. Mustard, Cooper. 
होकर white little bat and chinchilla Pretty small color palette, but I do really like how the final piece came out. I'm really shocked, but it was so nice in the end. I really didn't like the reference image. As always, I will leave all the information in the description below. Thanks for watching and have a great day.